Hey guys, it's the Tinker that here. So look what I have here. Hey, it's a package from China. Yeah, obviously. And uh, it contains some 3D printer parts, but amongst others, there's something that I'm really, really hyped about. So it's a 0.2 uh, millimeter nozzle. As you might remember that uh, the primary goal of uh, 3D printing for me is uh, to make precise prints uh, so I can make uh, parts for my electronic projects like uh, little standoffs, enclosures and whatnot. So let's unbox this or unpack this. Okay, so after installing the nozzle, the next logical thing is to go to Cura or whatever slicer software you are using and change some settings that are related to the nozzle size. Like most of the beginners, I use Cura's default settings, so I didn't really have to change that much. I edited the nozzle size and I decreased layer height a bit. The rest was handled by Cura. The rest of the settings I have changed is pretty much unrelated to the nozzle change. So at this point I was ready to see some magic happen. It all started looking good. The printer started working on the first layer, then it was working on the first layer, then it was working... Wait, what? Oh well, typical newbie mistake. So I was so happy about the super thin first layer that I even posted it on Instagram. Turns out I shouldn't have. So lesson learned. The smaller nozzle means that you will be constantly fighting under extrusion and with the slicer settings you have to counter this. So let's get back to Cura. First of all, you don't really have to go wide with the layer height. Initial layer height must stay larger, because um, especially if you are using the default print surface of the 3, you will have adhesion problems with the too thin first layer. Also with the super thin first layer, you will need some super precise bed leveling. Since we are trying to counter under extrusion, for a second we need to stop and think about how extrusion works. So it's just basically the material being heated up and pushed through the nozzle. In case of a smaller nozzle, basically the material has less space to flow through, but since we want to upkeep the pace of flow during the print compared to the larger nozzle, we need to increase the 
temperature the material is heated to. So I usually print PLA with 200 Celsius degrees. In this case I increased it to 210. Of course the bed temperature is not affected by the nozzle size in any way, so you will just be able to use the same bed temperature you always do. In the end you might want to play around a bit with uh, increasing the flow parameter, but personally I would say that this value depends on the material you are using. For me it only needed a slight adjustment. And basically that's it. With these settings so far I was able to print anything with the 0.2mm nozzle. As the last part of this video, you might remember that uh, some of basic case I tried to print before and it didn't really work out. Well, here's how it looks like with the new nozzle. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.